Hey, good morning, YouTubers. Um, Randy, we're out in the shop today. It's a little bit chilly outside and wet and windy. I have some stuff to do out there, but not today. Um, about, oh, in January, I guess, one of my uh, um, adventure vacation clients was here. He comes every year, and uh, he was working on his coach and realized that his bay door locks, 95 wide body, his bay door locks were not locking with the keyless entry um, stuff. With that keyless entry stuff is a Motorcraft or Ford, the little touch pad by the door and then the control box, it's about that big, it's up in the overhead. But the door, entry door was locking and unlocking with the remote, with the keypad, and we didn't know, we don't know when the bay doors stopped working. Um, the bay doors would not lock. So uh, he didn't know when they had quit locking since the, the entry door was working. He assumed, and we all assumed, that the bay doors were working as well, but they were not. So we tried to think back what happened, what, what did we change, because he's been doing he does projects on his bus all along. And what changed? Well, he put a new touch pad, the keypad in, which is forward, like I said. He put one of those in new, and so that's the first place we look, okay? So we took the, the wall panel off inside and, and checked all the wires and everything seemed to be like it should be. But door locks, you know, the bay doors still weren't locking. And, uh, so what else has he done recently? Well, we put a, a Gerard awning on it and uh, all that wiring that comes out of the Ford module for the door locks is up in the overhead above the dash, above the windshield. So we might've stirred up something up there, a wire or something. And then he also did a bunch of tail light work, put some new tail lights and stuff in. So that was work in the back, which shouldn't have been near the the bay door lock stuff. But, you know, we're just trying to figure out what, you always go back to the last thing you worked on, it might have related to this new problem. So we were checking the, uh, the door lock motors in the bay doors, which is a General Motors um, door lock motor out of a Buick or a Chevy, all the same, probably in about 90. And, uh, <clears throat> it had power, there's two wires, and the way that works is reverse the polarity to pull, and it reverses the other way to push. So something changes that polarity. But both our wires were hot. We didn't have, we need a ground and a hot to make them work. And you reverse that to go the other way. But both of them were hot. Now how could that be? So we're looking and we're talking about this. And this rocked on a couple of days, you know, because we, you don't, you just gotta kind of, figure it out before you tear stuff up. So we took the overhead down up behind the TV. I think it's behind the TV, TV swung out and the Ford module was there. And I don't know how many different modules Ford makes like that. We, and I had a part number, but I forgot. Uh, I don't know what it is right now. This was in January. We were working on this thing, but uh, the Ford module seemed to be fine. And, uh, and we didn't really have a schematic on how all that was wired up with Bluebird, how Bluebird did it or how Ford did it either. So we're watching YouTubes and there's guys taking them out of Cougars and stuff like that at the scrapyard and putting them in early model Ford pickups and stuff. And it's kind of interesting. It's a pretty universal module. And uh, I think that they will do a lot more than actually than we are getting out of them on a wander lodge. You can turn lights on with them, you know, door lights, interior lights, uh, remote with a key fob, which we don't have. Um, but, and I'm not sure if that module will work with a key fob, if you had a key fob or how to program it. But anyway, <laughs> we're talking about this and, and I, I didn't understand why the door lock entry door would work properly, but the bay doors wouldn't. So now we got us thinking, is it a wire between there? Um, and you know, we always say it's always the ground, but it never crossed my mind 
yet that it was a ground. So then we get a little bit of information, a schematic, and we're chasing all this stuff out. And this is the same from like 92 to 2003. So a lot of years use the same type module, keypad by the door, all that stuff. But they did change some relays, Bluebird did along the way. I don't know when, what years. I think 98 probably. But it turns out, and I have a picture here that I stole from Mally from a, a thread he did a while back. These two solenoids here, this one and that one, that's what controls the door locks, bay door locks. These two huge relays, overkill, you know, like all Bluebird stuff. But I think they use these because you could reverse the polarity from these two terminals to these two and, and make those door locks work. And, and they'll never go bad with that little bit of a load on them. So it's fine, but I, I had no idea that those two relays controlled it. <clears throat> so we were up in the overhead with a test light and we're testing this and this is all working, but there's no ground. So the ground is the white wires right here and they jump from one to the other but they also get buried in this harness right here behind this green and orange wire. And they go that way towards the entry door. Got to find out where, why that's not grounded. So we got in above the entry door and when we were putting the Gerard awnings on it, there was a wire in the way. There's a bus bar there and this ground wire went to that bus bar and that wire was in the way. So we, somebody, I didn't, one of us did, un, unhooked that wire, unscrewed it from the bus bar and tucked it out of the way to finish this Gerard project and we didn't hook it back up. So that was a, a year before. We did that in 2022. So the reason, the wire was still tucked and hidden, but we knew a wire had to go there and we looked in the bus bar and sure enough, there's a drilled and tapped hole in the, this brass bus bar where a wire should have been. We dug around, found the wire, hooked it up and that worked It fixed it. But it, it's always a ground it seemed like, but we chased our tail on that for a couple of days. You know, not all day, but we talked about it and, and figured it out. But it's amazing that those two big relays control those bay door locks. And only, not, they don't control the entry door, just the bay doors. Now in 98, I think they changed this to a, a Bosch type, little square relays, I'm not really sure. But anyway, it's interesting. We created the problem and it took us a little while to figure out uh, what the problem was. But I still think that forward module, that motor crab module could probably have a key fob hooked to it if you wanted to, you know, have a, a key fob unlock and lock your doors. I'm a key guy myself. I don't even use those bay door locks and stuff. Carol likes them, but I'm a key guy. I like, I like a key. I don't, I don't know why, but anyway. So that's my story on that today. And uh, we, I posted about this on the WOG forum a while back and uh, didn't, I don't know if we put this picture on there or not, but it was an interesting topic. And that was a little bit of a bonus footage a week or two ago on WOG. I posted I needed to order some brass fittings that I was running short. I needed some fittings for another project in the yard. And I know some of you <clears throat> that know me had to giggle that have been in my shop and seen my hardware <laughs> selection. So Carol's gonna walk this way and I'm gonna show you a little bit of my hardware. <clears throat> we got all kinds of bolts, nuts, big stuff, little stuff, lug nuts, inner nuts, big bolts, all kinds of little 
hardware in here. The bins are full. All this stuff on the floor. A guy gave me two five gallon buckets full of brand new bolts and nuts. Mixed, mixed bag. We poured them on the floor and every now and then I walk by and I pick some up and sort them out. But they're slowly getting sorted. But more here, more there. All over the floor here behind Carol's bicycle. Buckets full here. Boxes. Around this way. We've got springs, lag bolts, assorted spacers and nuts. <laughs> More stuff. A lot of brass fittings down there. Bolts full, I mean, boxes full of bolts here, bolts there. I'm carrying them a step in here. There's even more to the left. I guess I'm a hardware junkie. When you need a bolt, buy two. When you need a, two bolts, buy 50. And then over here, we have more. <laughs> Drawers full of hardware. Drawers here full of hardware. It's, it's a little bitty stuff. More stuff. Screws. That's the cool best parts here. Y'all don't want to see any of that, probably. Relays, door switches, circuit boards. Ramco mirrors, remote switches. More stuff. Oh, here's that relay that I was just talking about. This is what this controls is the bay door locks. Look how big that is. I mean, that's industrial. And then, while I was laughing about all my brass, needing brass parts, I got the stuff up here that needs to be sorted. This is kind of sorted. And this was a whole lot better until about a month ago when I pulled out too many drawers and it turned over and dumped all this on the floor. I was very unhappy. All kinds of stuff. You think I need to go buy some more hardware? More brass fittings? More relays. There's another one of those relays. I don't know. This is more Bluebird part. <clears throat> Hardware. Anyway, that's but a little. Wait. But wait. What? Oh, Carol's reminded me. Not only did I turn it over once. I turned it over twice the same day. And here's how I did that. So I usually sit in my chair and I pull them out. Please you know, don't do it again. And I know I'm not. And I sort through, find what I need. So this drawer here is really heavy, believe it or not. And uh, so this particular day, my chair was over here. So I'm kind of side saddle here. I pull this drawer open. I'm looking for something. I left it open and I pulled this drawer out twice <laughs> in one day. <laughs> oh man, was I ever mad. It took both of us all we could do to stand it back up. Dumped everything up here, down, Oh yeah, yeah, good stuff. Don't tell anybody I did that twice. <laughs> All right, well look, here's another one of those relays. God, I got them everywhere. All right, thanks for watching. Hit the like if you like it. If you don't like it, I got rabbits, little bunnies, Easter bunnies, and what? Subscribe. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. 
See you down the road.